I am one of approximately 7 million people living in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex. The DFW area is mostly developed, but there are scattered tracts of prairies and wooded areas. This woodland is part of an 800 acre nature preserve not far from my home. Even though the winter woods are stark and barren, there are always interesting textures and subjects to photograph. Most wooded areas here are found near creeks like this one. This past fall had been the wettest on record, and in total 2018 was the second wettest year on record for our area. When there is a lot of rain, this area is subject to flooding as the creek rises over its banks. From here, I can still hear traffic from the nearby road, but once I start intently focusing on things to photograph, it's easier to filter out the noise that reminds me I'm in a city. At this dreary time each year, where everything seems so colourless and uninspiring, I venture into the woods in search of the annual emergence of one of our rare and noteworthy wildflowers. The trout lilies, once they emerge, only stay above ground a few weeks and once they flower, that only lasts about three or four days. So to time that right, I have to start looking for them in early February. Found them! Same place they come up every year along the banks of the creek in this spot. They look to be about three weeks or less from flowering. While scanning the thickets, I noticed this well camouflaged Carolina wren. This was the closest I could get with my old telephoto lens. Sometimes I wish I could get down to the creek from here, but it is not safe. The drop-off is steep and I've read that the water has some bad bacteria as well. Thankfully though, it's because of this creek that this wooded area has been preserved. The woods can be a scary place. Sure, there is beauty even in the untamed, but this is no place to roam completely free. Here you have to be vigilant, keeping a watch where you step, and being careful about what you touch. Poison ivy is everywhere. Even in the winter months, all parts of the plant are toxic. Most people are familiar with what to watch out for when they see the leaves, but these hairy vines are just as risky to touch as the leaves. It is a good idea to learn about what is safe and what is dangerous. This is the vine of a Virginia creeper and it is harmless. 
This is poison ivy. The most frightening day I ever experienced in these woods was when I came across this well camouflaged venomous pit viper. It rained for days before and I wanted to go out and search for mushrooms. I was not watching for snakes or expecting to see one. I saw an interesting shaped tree branch and wanted to wander off the trail to get to it when I noticed a hole in the ground. I scanned the hole for a while trying to determine where to step when I noticed the copperhead snake. Needless to say, I retreated and stayed on the trail. Not long after the copperhead encounter, I nearly stepped on this non-venomous rat snake as it wandered across the trail. I was not as nervous seeing this one and watched for a while as it climbed a tree in front of me. I did manage to find these mushrooms before the snake drama, so it was a worthwhile outing. This woodland is a wonderful place. I've spent countless hours here in awe of nature. One of my favorite things is to hear the woodpeckers pecking away in trees and calling out. But probably my favorite day of all here was when I came across this barred owl one morning. I could not believe it. It blended in so well with its surroundings the owl stayed for a long time as we watched each other. It was a special moment for me. In my next video, I will be sharing my return visit to see the flowering trout lilies. And this marks the beginning of our springtime here in Texas, my favorite time of the year.